Well, you're standing on the deck of the uh, uh, National Historic Landmark USS Alabama. It's a World War II battleship that was used from 1942 to 1945, and, and first the North Atlantic and then the South Pacific. She won nine battle stars for significant action in the South Pacific, and uh, the day after the surrender documents were signed on September the 2nd, she led the American fleet into, into Tokyo Harbor. Until 1962, the battleship, uh, or the federal government was going to, going to scrap this battleship and three others, and uh, statewide committee was formed the day that, that that word was let out, and two years later, the battleship actually came into Mobile Bay, and on January the 9th, 1965, we opened to the public. She's a big boat. She's uh, 190, uh, 680 feet long. She's longer than two football fields. She weighs about, right now, about 84 million pounds or 42,000 tons. The three, three turrets that have the big guns here, of course, obviously, are the stars of the show, but we've got five inch 38 caliber uh, mounts on the side. We've got 40, 48 40 millimeter guns and 52 20 millimeter guns. This ship actually shot down 23 air, 22 aircraft during World War II. We're down inside turret number two. Big gun turrets that shot two different types of shells, 1,900 pound projectile and a 2,700 pound projectile. They were all loaded down here. We are living history. I mean, you, you literally see what it was like to be on this ship, not with 2,500 men on it, but certainly how the living conditions were. They weren't palatial. Anybody that comes aboard that has Navy ancestors of any age can find something about them and about the era on the ship. Uh, looking uh, at the gunpower on this ship, I can imagine, uh, you know, what went on uh, uh, with these battleships. Uh, they did their job and they did a lot of damage work during the war and were probably a, they were probably a big help in, uh, in ending some of the wars. Well, what, what you see when you come to the park, we've got 155 acres. Uh, we've got, uh, of course, the battleship Alabama. We've got uh, America's oldest existing submarine, the USS Drum, is actually sitting on land. And we also have 27 historic aircraft uh, predating World War II all the way to uh, planes that are being used today, B-52s. We'll do about 300,000 visitors a year, and uh, you ought to see them, when, especially the kids, when they come out of, of the ship or the submarine or even out in the parking lot. It's, it's a great adventure, and uh, that's what we want every, everybody in Alabama to come down to see us because this is Alabama's uh, leading attraction for years and years, and, and uh, we just think that it's a great treat that we've got something this incredible this close.